Hey guys, I am going to show you how to set up Fast Raw Viewer so that your shortcuts in here are the same as what you're already used to in Lightroom. So the first thing we're going to do is come up here to the menu and go into the Preferences and go to this Copy Move Reject tab and we're going to check this Enable Move to Selected Subfolders option and warn when files are moved to rejected. We're going to set that to No or if you prefer to multiple files and Confirm File Move, we're going to set that to No or multiple files if you prefer to get a, a warning. So I'm going to say OK here. Next, I'm going to go to the Customize menu, Keyboard Shortcuts, and we're going to make a couple of changes in here. First, we're going to head down to this XMP rating, and we know that in Lightroom, it's just 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to set the rating. So we want that to be exactly the same. We don't want to have to press Option or anything else. So I'm going to click on it, and just hit zero to change that. And I'm gonna change all of these. Okay, and I'm gonna go into the XMP labels and I'm gonna do the same thing. And now I'm gonna come back up here to File, Copy, Move, Reject. And this is where we're going to set the P and X, like we do in Lightroom for Pick and Reject. So we're going to come here to where it says Move Current File to Selected Subfolder, and click on the plus and select and hit P. So this will be our selected files. So this is giving me a warning because the P shortcut is already assigned to Focus Peaking. So I don't really care about Focus Peaking, so I'm going to just hit Yes. I want this to be the same as Lightroom. Now I'm going to hit this one and change this to X. And if you do want to set up that focus peaking to have a different command, just come over here to image display. And it's right here, hit plus, And you can do command P, or another combination of keys if you prefer. So hit OK. And now we're going to come here to this XMP metadata, and hit the gear icon, then go move to next file after and turn this to rating or label is set. And this functions the same way as auto advance in Lightroom. Now we're ready to start culling. So you're gonna come over to here and go find your folder with your images. You can also call directly from your SD card, but personally, I don't, I'm not really comfortable with that, so I'm not gonna do it that way. I prefer to have the images safe on my hard drive. So down here, you can change the way you view your images, but I'm gonna just stay in the grid view for now. So I'm gonna select this first image, and if I press P to select to keep that image, it's gonna create a new folder in here called Selected. So I'm gonna right click, refresh subfolders, and there's my selected image. So now if I do the same thing and say X, it's gonna create another folder. So I'm just gonna refresh this, and there's that image. So now you can quickly go through and just P or X to select or reject an image. And you can do the same thing with the ratings and you see how it auto advances to the next image. So once you're done calling your images, I'm going to do this personally, I'm going to use the selected and rejected method. So once I'm done, all of my selected images are going to be in this selected folder. And I can just come in here, control all, and then go into my library module in Lightroom and drag these over. And that'll open my import panel. And then I can just check all and import. Or another way to import into Lightroom would just be to open Lightroom and then file, import photos and video and then just find your folder on your hard drive. Find your selected folder and hit import. So that's basically how I'm gonna be using this software with Lightroom to call my images a lot faster. If you have any questions, let me know.